text. This is very important. And I already uploaded all this paper. Uh, please try to read them if you have time, right? In, including, including the book chapter. Right? So what is short channel effect? In summary, two words. I hope you to memorize if uh, I'm sure if you go to interview, if people ask you short channel effect. If you can say that, unless you're doing device engineering class, right? Then you will pass already for that part. Two things. One is called VT roll off. What is the meaning of VT roll off? It means the trestle voltage keep reducing when the channel length reduce. Ah, that is interesting, right? If we go back to our previous derivation, this is the equation for the trestle voltage. If you remember, I hope you remember, this basically talking about the depletion charge, the fully depleted region divided the capacitors. This is the potential drop across the oxide. This is the surface potential. You need to bend the silicon so that it just start inversion. That's why we have this, right? Does this equation tells us that the VTH is going to reduce when we reduce the length? Anyone? Can you see that from this equation, when the channel length reduce, the trestle voltage will reduce? Can you let me know, can you see or you cannot, based on this equation? No. No, right? I don't see that, right? So, but this duration, why? Because we use 1D scenario. We assume the LG is very long. When it is very long, I can ignore this, but Poisson equation is not that. We need to solve the 2D, 3D. They have interaction with each other. So this is wrong, this one. This is only correct when LG is very long. Okay, so this is first thing. Trestle voltage uh, reduce when the LG reduce. Another so-called short channel effect also want you to memorize. We talk about Gitto, right? There's, they rhyme with each other. This is called Dipo, drain induced barrier lowering. It's telling you that the trestle voltage is going to reduce when the drain voltage increase the drain induce some lowering on the barrier. Again, from this equation, I don't see that my trestle voltage should depend on the drain voltage, but it does, okay? So there are two such things. So on these figures, right? We try to show that a long channel because of this depletion layer due to this drain, you actually encroach into the channel you help the inversion. Remember, we need to have depletion under the channel first, and then we have inversion. But now I don't have to totally rely on VG. Someone that are uh, doing extra for you. You were very happy. You try to control the channel, right? Transistor is that you, go, you control the channel using the gate voltage. You want to have the absolute power gate. You are the controller. Someone trying to infringe, right? Trying to steal away your power. Even you don't try to deplete it, it deplete it through this PN junction. So I don't need to add too much of depletion charge in order to get into inversion now because of this strain. Well, if this one is very, very long, I don't care about this one. I just like I'm the king, I'm very powerful, I don't care, you try to con control what I'm controlling. But when the channel is become so short, right? Or maybe you are the country far, far away, I don't care, you try to control. But now you become my neighbor. You try to control my citizen, well, then you really have a big control. And that's why when you have a smaller gate length, you have this VTH roll off. And at the same time, you see this depletion width depends on the drain bias. If the drain bias is high, 
the depression layer will increase. We know about this in PN junction, right? So if you have a higher drink bias, you are also going to deplete more. That's why when the VD increase, VTH, VT reduce, okay? So please memorize this, threshold voltage, roll off, uh, or the threshold voltage reduction is the so-called short channel effect. The most important short channel effect, because there are many others, but we only care about this here. And there are two of them. Just reducing the gate length, you reduce the VTH. Just increasing the VD, you reduce the VTH. Any question on this? I hope this is very clear to you. Okay. And maybe let me just mark. Oh. Yeah, please. Um, are you going to introduce your um, new equation for the VT, for the total voltage? Because Am I said, going to what? Sorry. <clears throat> so you mentioned that the, the equation for the threshold voltage that's on the on the slide right now. It's only when you have a long channel on the transistor. Correct. Right. And, but uh, when we reduce the the short uh, the channel length, uh, that equation is not valid anymore. But um, that effect is that the threshold voltage reduces. So yes. is, is, there, is, is there an equation? Equation, or? yes. There are a lot of equation, but actually uh, uh, we are going to cover later. We will try to cover the delta VT. We still hold this as the reference, but then we say that the VT, how much it will change when we reduce the gate length. Okay. Okay. But for a real modeling, if you look at compact model, it's a very complicated equation in space model. Okay, yeah. So the, the gate length is by making it smaller, is that more beneficial? And that's why Dibble is undesirable? You, that really depends, right? You make it smaller, you actually uh, reduce the threshold voltage, you increase the leakage current. But this is not a problem. You reduce the threshold voltage, then let me just design it so that it has a, it has a larger threshold voltage. The problem is that in your device, in your circuit, you have different transistor length. Now you actually have different voltage, all right, threshold voltage, right? And the worst is for Dipple. At different bias, you have different threshold voltage. Oh man, then how am I going to design my circuit? I need to take this into account. How do I know when you are going to apply five volt, when you're going to apply one volt? Okay, so usually this is not desirable. Do I answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay, good. Now here show that, right? So we are not uh, going to too much of math, although I will do that, but the most important is that you need to know how to read the graph. Here you see that I have different gate length. When the gate length is long, you see I have two different measurement. The circle one is at VD equal to 0 0.1. Very low bias. You see the threshold voltage is reducing. Okay. So this is the VT row off, right? Low bias, it is reducing already. But in additional to that, when we have a short channel, when we go from 0 0.1 volt to 3 volt, we have another even larger row off. And this is the depot, drain induced barrier lowering, right? You see here at long channel, low row off, right? It means when I go from 3 to 4, no row off. At the same time, no depot. Right? For, for example, at 4 micron, I increase the voltage by 0.1 volt to 3 volt, nothing happened. Okay? And this is the same for the PMOS. Is this clear for you? Any questions? Right? So we, 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 maybe the best way is just say that ideally, right, if there's no short channel effect, what should I expect? I expect this. Right. 
this is no short channel effect. But now you see that it dropped off, okay? And this is another picture about the bulk, right? Let's try just to understand a little bit more. This is in log scale. This is not log scale. Let's look at this. I have two set of curves, right? Let's look at two micron first. Two micron is referring to this dash line, right? This group. You see that the transfer voltage is almost the same. Right, this is the log scale, right? If you put in the linear scale, you will see something like this. Right, this is uh, 50 millivolt, this is three volt, and let's say this is the L equal to two micron. Right? Basically, you have the same VTH if you try to make, make it in the uh, linear scale, right? Is that okay? But when I try to reduce the gate length to 0.35, it becomes this two group, this group. What do you see? First of all, from here to here, transfer voltage is changed. It's shifted to the left. This is the delta VTH. Right? At 50 millivolt, it is here. At 0 0.35, it is here. This is called due to the roll off. But not just this. If I increase the VD to 3 volt, it has an additional one due to the dipole. It shifts even more to the left. Is that okay? How about this, right? I don't know if uh, you can follow. Now I give you two. Now we look at this 0 0.2, even worse. Can you tell me? Let me call this A, this is B. Which one is dipole, A or B? Dipole means that when you increase the drain voltage, the threshold voltage is even smaller. A or B? Don't know? Maybe A? Huh? A? Why? Threshold uh, is lower in that case. Because it's comparing when it is 3 volts, this is 3 volts versus 50 millivolt. The change in the voltage, the threshold voltage, is due to the increase in drain voltage, right? They have the same gate length. But for B, so this is dipole. For B, the reason the vo the threshold voltage shift from this point to this point is because you reduce the gate length from 2 micron to 0 0.2 micron. So this is row off. Any questions? Yeah, I didn't quite get it. Got it. Uh, which, which one is the, I, I'm not understanding which one is the, the main the main graph that we're comparing at all for the roll-off and the people. So we should take a reference. The reference is long channel. But yeah, but what is the, the graph that we're comparing the, the change? Is it the, the one that the, the first dotted line that connects to the 50 millivolt? Is the 50 millivolt the threshold voltage? Yeah. So we compared the shift of the, may, maybe I should also say something, maybe this is uh, something you might not be very familiar. So if this is VG, this is ID, right? In a linear scale, you get this. You have two curve. This is the difference of VTH, correct? 
you agree with this? What I'm drawing? You have curve A and B, right? Let's call it X and Y. If you plot in the log scale, log I, how would it look like? You will see something like this. X and Y. And this is also approximately equal to VTH. Okay, so the shift of the curve is the delta VTH. Maybe I say delta would be better. Right, delta VTH. The shift of the curve is the delta VTH. So now I look at the long channel curve, I have this. Now I find that my 0.2 micron curve becomes this. So there is a shift like this one. And basically it is the change of the VTH. Oh, I see it, I see it now. Okay, great. So then this is the roll off due to the, from long channel to short channel. And now I see an even larger shift when I increase to three volt. So this is due to the dipole. Do you add the dipole and roll off for the total change? Uh, yeah, so this is just something you need to define very clearly. For example, when you communicate with circuit designer or when you write paper, right? Uh, you now actually, because there's no, no standard deviation of what is roll off, right? Some people may even say that the whole thing is roll off. But just in this class, I would like you to uh, be clear that I want to say roll off is due to the geometric issue, right? We make it shorter, then you have a roll off. And dipole is due to the voltage. But outside, when you talk to people, they might just say that the whole thing is roll off. The most important thing is just you say it clearly. Do I add them together? Depend on the purpose. Yes, for some purpose, we care about the total change, then we just add them together. But it's all about what was your purpose. Okay? Because after all, their physics or physical origin is the same, the depletion layer, the control from the gate. But for instructional purpose, we decompose it into two. And indeed, people uh, have these two, two types of comparison. Why we single out depot? Because sometimes we don't have reference. In the paper, they will just say that this device have very large depot. They compare with low drain and then high drain bias, and then say this is the depot. But what is the reference? They don't care. They don't care about this shift. They only care about this shift. Is that okay? So the people will always have the, the greatest shift or the greatest change on, in the threshold voltage. Uh, the can you say again, you have a lot of noise. Uh, I was saying, so the people will have more, uh, a greater change than, than the roll off. No, depends, uh, depends. Uh, maybe, maybe, right? Uh, it can be, uh, but people, now we only see the absolute change, but actually it has a unit. You will talk about how many volt per volt of uh, uh, VD change. So this just because we put in three volts, if we just put at one volt, maybe it will be smaller, right? Because this depends on the bias. So it's not necessarily more, right? It really depends on what voltage you are at doing. For example, if I only use 0 0.5 volt, then it might only come here. Then it's less than the roll off. Make sense? Right, if you have a larger bias, you roll off more. You have a smaller bias change, you roll off less. So it can be larger or smaller than the VT roll off. Okay. 